In the previous video, we looked at the correlation coefficient, for instance, between temperature and ice cream sales. And um, separately, we also looked at the correlation coefficient between temperature and the technical incidents. What I'm going to teach you in this video is to create a so-called uh, correlation coefficient matrix. And in a correlation coefficient matrix, you can see a whole bunch of correlation coefficients at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, a method in which you can correlate temperature with all of the other uh, variables that you see here, in which you can correlate soup sales with all of the other variables that you see over here. Okay, so how to do that? Well, we need an extra add-in for that. This extra add-in is called analysis tool pack. Now, you might have already installed the analysis tool pack or not. So I'm going to show you how to install it if you haven't installed it yet. Please go to file over here and then click on it. Once you click on file, you will see this screen. Please go to options and then click on that. Once you click on options, you will see this screen. Here, please go to add-ins and then click on that. You will see this screen and then please select analysis tool pack, not analysis tool pack VBA, but analysis tool pack here. Click on go at this point, please tick this. Click on OK. At this point, if you now go to your data tab over here and you click it, you will see that at the right part of the screen, you should have this option, data analysis. If you click on that, this menu will basically appear. In this menu, you can select correlation and then click on OK. It basically asks us for the input range. And here we have the option to also tick this option here, labels in first row. So when we click on this, this means that we can also include the column titles, which we're going to include. And we're going to just in this part, click and drag and select all of the data that we have here, including the titles. Okay, so not just the numbers, but also the titles, because we have ticked this box, that means that we're also allowed to include the column titles. And then we're going to click on OK. Now this is what is shown, let me clean this up a little bit. So I went ahead and I cleaned it up a little bit by giving a little bit extra space huh, to the, these uh, titles in the column. You can also do that. You can just position your cursor over here in the middle of these two columns, and then you can give it more space or less space depending on your need. But this is the correlation uh, coefficient matrix or correlation matrix that we end up with. Now, let me take you through it. First, we see here all these ones. Why do we see here all these ones? Well, these ones we see because, for instance, this one, this one one <laughs> is uh, temperature being correlated with temperature. OK, and of course, it's going to be a perfect correlation. So you get here a correlation coefficient of one. Why is this one? Well, here we see ice cream sales being correlated with ice cream sales. OK, and again, of course, if you correlate the same variable with itself, it's obviously going to have a perfect correlation. So that's why you see this one. But here, for instance, you see a minus one. OK, so uh, we are looking at the correlation coefficient between temperature in Celsius and soup sales and it's minus one. So this is a perfect or very, very strong negative uh, linear association here. It seems that when one goes up, the other one goes down when temperature uh, rises, soup sales drops. OK, so the cold, the, the warmer it becomes, uh, the higher the temperature becomes, uh, the less soup is sold. But the other way around, it also works. Eh? So the colder it becomes, the lower the temperature becomes, the more soup is sold. OK, so this is how you interpret that. Here, for instance, we see uh, between delays in minutes and uh, the technical incidents, number of technical incidents, that the correlation coefficient is 0 0.22. So uh, that means a weak positive linear association. So this is basically how we uh, read a correlation coefficient matrix like this.